Hello and welcome to Wolfman Gaming. This is my Dark Pictures little anthology. Hello. Sorry, a Little Hope welcome. Blind Playthrough. I have a new story for you. It's very different to the last. And this is episode two. <laughs> Didn't want to interrupt our good friend, the curator. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Of course not. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire... No, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway... Look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? <laughs> you are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. I know. You've seen how the story starts. So much death. <laughs> How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self. Be true. Dead Poet Society? But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do. Ah, come on. You know you want to help. I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Come on. My place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before where I feel that that would be appropriate oh one final thing before I let you go there are pictures in little hope that will yes found, show you a vision of a possible future oh, something cat. that may or may not happen use them they might help you you have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> I do enjoy it. Rather disturbing. <laughs> well, in real life, I think people who know me would describe me as very much more rational than emotional. I try to... When I make a decision, I examine most aspects and I try to go with what makes sense to do. People don't always enjoy that, but sometimes you have to do what is the best thing. <laughs> and I have been described as pragmatic to the level of being annoying. <laughs> Which is okay, because it's true. I work a lot more out of logic than emotion. And hopefully that will help me throughout this game. It worked somewhat well in Man of Medan. We only had two deaths. Which is like 40% <laughs> and 
Andrew, 18, college student, anxious, detached. And also the sole survivor in his family. So, Taylor, 22, college student, headstrong, sensitive. John, 43, college professor, rational, overbearing. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Taylor, bus crash site, 11.06 p.m., May 27. You want to lend a hand here? Uh, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do, John? Call for help, if you can manage that. Uh, I already tried once, but I'm on it. Hey, Andrew, buddy, oh. how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaken up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. Is that his dad? You're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. Almost looks like his dad. And I said in Man of Medan that thing, useless piece of crap. Uh, that these games or that that game reminded me a lot of uh, Until Dawn. And afterwards, <laughs> I realized why. Because these are both made by Supermassive Games. That did Until Dawn and... Uh, Daniel, 20, college student, amiable, defensive. Where's my phone? And uh, they recently released a game called The Quarry. Which I read about and... Uh, haven't played it yet. Uh... Angela, 48, mature student, abrasive, understanding. Hey, anyone up there? So, uh, hey, Daniel, that you? not oh, quite sure if I will buy it. There Daniel? are, there are a lot of games coming out. Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too. Thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right. Nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John. Any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. The ghost of Looks Megan. Like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. Hey, Taylor, help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait, I don't remember anything. Who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college Okay, so it's not his dad, he's just a on a field trip, but that didn't very so close in resemblance to his dad. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think so of it this a is a college class? Game. Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. Uh, let's be a bit we reluctant. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. Where's the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. Okay. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right. The quicker we get help, the quicker we can <laughs> all go home. Stick close behind me. Because the thing is, something... I realized in uh, the first game was that it seemed like a good idea to try to like keep a good relationship in between the characters. Really? This trail is the pits. 
but we're okay. This little detour is ruining my clothes. That's the So the crash here. didn't. Your clothes are ruined? Really? Easy. That outfit probably cost more than you earned in your life. <laughs> my money's in the green. Don't you worry. Money. That's what she wants to hear about. Hey. What's happening here? Not much. Okay. I Daniel, you got your phone? Mine's got zero signal. I guess it fell out during the crash. You staying here all night? We're going to keep moving. See ya. I feel like that lady will not be missed if she dies. Maybe I I will not go out my way to save her <laughs> if the choice is between her and another one because people that welcome to <laughs> abandon hope. There might be hidden information. Welcome to unreadable abandon hope. What do you mean unreadable? It says little. Uh you know this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Uh, why, why should I? I've heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. H how do you know all this stuff anyway? <laughs> I'm a professional academic. I read books, unlike some. <laughs> Douche. Easy, Einstein. I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. Point. But I'm thinking, why couldn't they just like lay down, make form a human chain, and Good pull to see them you up? Too. Finally, everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. I was getting worried. I bet you were. This gate is chained. <laughs> we can't get through. And race a wire Around. on top. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this will do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two. One push. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great job, you two. Something I really like. Big, uh, big improvement from the previous game is that Play you actually get the prompt. Town, like this is help. what we expect of you, you know next. Mash this sure, button. There will be a QTE. Sounds like a fun place. And for anyone who hasn't. Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Uh Can we get going without having a smart ass lecture first? I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. I'm not even starting. Goes both yet. ways. You want a little more? Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. Oh. What did you say about me? Do you always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. I'm gonna say nothing. <laughs> well, that certainly shut you up. Quit it, will you? The last thing we need is you causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? Okay. I still think the smart move is for us all to stick together. You'd be glad we didn't stick together after we flag down a car and come rescue your ass. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what would be the best choice yeah. there. I would no. probably go for staying in the bus until morning comes because in the bus This is some very weird shit going on here. You're also safer from his pride, then he loses his way. What are you trying to say? That you've lost it. 
It's not what? possible. Look, I don't know what you're trying to prove here, but we've got better things to do. Daniel? Whoa. Hey, careful. Watch out. Quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here. The two of us will go together. This is getting ridiculous. Indulge me. What? Did I miss something? Oh. We're trapped here. Okay. There's no way out. I now I get it. I don't understand. <laughs> She's right. We walked dead straight going away from you. So, how would we end up back here? Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. Hold hands. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. No, please stay behind. This reminds me a lot of uh, an old horror movie called In the Mouth of Madness. There I is that is a little odd. Uh, there is a scene in that movie where the main character and his friend just like I've been saying, we are trapped. try we to escape from a little Hell town called Hobbs End. Down, and every time they drive, try to drive away from town, yeah, somehow they all end up sure going back into it. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics i know who i'd like to be kicking this is all down to you this pissy little field trip now we're stuck here in little no hope that is way out of line i had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash you can't put that on me are you for fucking real watch your tone will you i am doing my best to understand this just like you and the rest of us i'm sorry i don't get what's happening to us i don't now the voice is getting staticky again trapped in a nightmare it's okay. We're gonna be just fine. We'll figure a way out of this together. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up. Maybe, Maybe it isn't real. real. We have to get out of here right now. I need to think straight. Right now. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town. So let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. Well, there if the town isn't abandoned. The we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. Yes. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You're leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Yes. And uh, I'm going to end this episode right here. We are going to head into town in episode 3. But I want to thank you very much for watching. And I will see you again in my next video. So until next time. This is the Wolfman. Signing off.